<laughs> this is the Robin's <laughs> Review Take Two. <laughs> we reported this whole thing already. And somebody didn't turn the volume. <laughs> somebody didn't turn the volume up on our our new product of microphones. So we have this huge video. It's like it's a twenty hilarious. minute video. It's so funny, and you can't hear us. So that's okay. We're that's gonna... what happens when you spend tens of dollars on new equipment. Since fives of dollars on these new equipment, sometimes they have malfunctions. <laughs> we got a new microphone. And then we got a new camera. That's why we look so glossy and pretty. Glossy? <laughs> sweaty or what? Okay. It is. Whatever. We're going to redo some of these for you. Okay. We're going to try our... <laughs> we're just going to show you. And we're so nervous because we've already tried these. And we're really I hate nervous. it. <laughs> I hate that I have to re-show you what I'm going to eat. Okay. Okay, so the first one. Whoa, whoa, wait. Tonight's, oh, oh, okay. Okay. tonight's products are Asian-inspired from the International Food Isle. And this was a request from Megan Thompson from North Carolina. So shout out to Megan and her boys, all of her boys at her house. Hey. Um, we're going to retry these for you. And, and they- I said and boys. He's part of and they hey. Um, we're gonna retry these Asian inspired things for, <coughs> um, for your request. So <laughs> thank you for thanks for this. Thanks. Thank you, Megan and Nate. Um <sighs> so we're gonna start with the one that uh we'll start with those again. Okay. I'm so <laughs> mad right now. Okay. It's so these, these, these are be super cute though. <clears throat> I found these in the aisle, and they Look are so cute. Look at them. They're so cute. They're see-through little water bottles, but they have, like, the pop top on them, like they're a soda. They are, like, carbonated um, carbonated water. Okay, so we had, like, a five-minute debate on figuring out what the name of these actually are. I think they're Bisha. B-I-S-H-A. Bisha. They're literally E-L-I-S-H-A. They're- Where is the L? It's right. <clears throat> Look, there's a line. There's a space in between. It's connected. It's B. He had a 10-minute debate on what this thing was called. <laughs> I'm positive. Okay, so what these are, and it took us like 10 minutes to figure this out, they are flavored water. They're Asian-flavored water. Get this. They have 80 calories. Water. Per <laughs> one. Water. If you want to feel healthy but still gain weight... <laughs> Asian carbonated water. It tastes nothing Asian like water. Asian carbonated okay. water. So okay. it tastes it tastes like fizzy water that's had like nine Jolly Ranchers <laughs> <laughs> like just dropped in there and let like dissolve. You know, mine is actually <laughs> super good though. Like it literally tastes like I'm drinking a pineapple. Like it's a pineapple juice with I'm like a slight you know. carbonation to it. I could go for that one. Like that one could be. You don't have Corona, right? (laughs) (laughs) This one, though, kind of tastes like I'm tasting like an air freshener. Kind of, yeah. That green apple flavor is just like... It's like the... I'm serious. It's like like somebody put a bunch of Jolly Ranchers in there. It's a lot. I mean, Uh, green apples, it's like definitely the fake green apple taste mm -hmm. with carbonation on top. So I would... They're not bad. I don't know why... There's not 80 There's calories. Good. There's 52. Really? It's 52. Which is still a lot for oh, yeah, water. Water should have none. But um, <coughs> 52 calories and 13 grams of sugar. That's crazy. So we decided that if if you were going to try to stop drinking sodas. Yeah. So like a Coke has like what? I don't know. 100? 150? 100 calories? Maybe? It's uh-uh. so good though. It doesn't matter. Uh, um, I have a look. I just drink it. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're trying to go in between, like, Obviously. cutting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. What, what does the doing? back say? Wait a second. So this side says green. You can't You can't see anything on our high-tech $10 cameras. <laughs> it says green. It's high def, Megan. Green apple. Let's turn it around. Because we're reviewing oh, oh, food in sorry. our bed, and I'm t- Bome Verte, which 
which, ironically enough, sounds like it would be, it's not Hispanic, but it sounds Hispanic. I don't think it sounds Asian. Someone, someone explain this to me, please. Okay. This one's not very good. They had like four different flavors, though. <laughs> they had coconut. They had. <laughs> someone tell me right now. They had coconut. They had kiwi. They had watermelon. And then they had these two. See, kiwi, I'd try. Kiwi, I, I would try. Kiwi. Right. The Asian aisle had a lot of different, like, weird juice kind of drinks, yeah. but they were super expensive. Um, a lot of the Asian snacks, like I noticed next to the Hispanic, like the Hispanic snacks were very, like normally priced, but the Asian snacks were like, here's a bag of marshmallows that taste like mangoes, but they're thirteen dollars. Why didn't you just tell me? I wanted to, but they were thirteen dollars, so <laughs> I decided to go with things that make me want to vomit instead. Um, okay, one out of ten. What would you give? Pineapple them? was definitely like maybe like a seven or eight. Like it's good. It's good, I think, if you don't want to drink soda, but you don't want water. This one, I would just say probably don't do that one. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I wouldn't go out of your way for the, the apple, but the, the pineapple, it's always worth a shot. If you're walking by. Pineapple's pretty good. Yeah. It's only like $1.30. They, these aren't, I didn't buy anything that was going to be overpriced because <clears throat> we're on a budget, guys. So, Okay. <laughs> The next thing. Our three viewers are not pitching in. <laughs> My mom, Megan My McDonald, mom. his Come on. mom, and Megan Thompson. We got two Megans and moms. Looking for donors. <laughs> Tell me what you like. Yes. Um, anyway, so the next snack, like I said, we've had these because we had a technical <laughs> error. They're called golden sweet corns, okay? They have the Chinese or Asian writing on the back. You can't really see it, but there it is. Um, I, my first initial thing, these were like under $2, so it wasn't too bad. It says, enjoy the original sweet corn by Regent, which is the name of the brand. I was expecting like maybe like a, it It looks like, I can't even smell them without almost gagging. I was thinking point. it would be like a corn nut, but it's a, like a Cheeto puff. I was thinking they look like Cheeto Puffs, or I said, like, what those um, Cocoa Puffs, like the cereal, is what they look like and feel like. But I was thinking maybe it would taste like a pop. (laughs) (laughs) Can you believe this? Um, Anyway, (laughs) like a popcorn kind of thing, you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And we have to eat another one, and I'm really sad. (laughs) (laughs) This is literally, like, the worst tasting things ever. So... Oh my god, it works. This is the second time. Mm. It tastes like wait. Mm. Guys, hold on. Ugh. I gotta mentally not gag for a second. <laughs> if you take corn out of a can, hot corn uh, out of a can. Yeah, it's like hot corn. Yeah. And just dump it on a plate. Don't warm it up. <laughs> Don't do a damn thing to it. No seasonings, nothing. And you just eat it like oh. out of the can. And then put some crunch into it. Like you're eating corn cereal. Uh, this is what this is. It is literally one of the most. I love corn. I'm from Indiana. Corn is a big part of our life there. And this is so disgraceful to me. Well, and like, oh, I'm the mad. Thing. This whole bag, 300 oh, calories <laughs> for, of, <gasps> of, of, of corn out of a can. Like, like, Have corn, you- corn is a nickel. Like, just go buy corn. Like, why would you not just buy corn? Have you ever got the chills from something being so awful, mm. though? Like, you're not, like, getting the chills because mm. you're cold. Like, I was, like, shivering because, like, I just, like, bleh. It was so. Is this six grams of sugar? There's no sugar in that. That is the sugar? worst tasting thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's like, it's They're like, horrible. Oh. They were less than $2, like I said. Mm. Next time I go with the $12 uh, marshmallows Ugh. and hope to God they taste better than that. Because that. Oh. That was just weird. Ugh, okay, so for terrible, our... like zero out of ten, <laughs> zero. Don't buy them. <clears throat> don't don't buy, even pretend. Don't buy sweet corn unless unless you're doing a Christmas gift. <laughs> oh then you have to buy it for somebody. I'm sorry, I'm like picking my teeth. <laughs> it gets stuck in your teeth. It's literally like a Cheeto, like when you eat Cheetos and they get stuck. They this, coat everywhere. This is a must buy for somebody to play a prank. Whoever on them you for hate, corn, whoever you for, hate, for corn for for Christmas. <laughs> Whoever you hate gets sweet corn Christmas. in their stocking this yeah. year. 10 out of 10 will give that to someone I hate. <laughs> uh, so we tried 
Pockies last time. We had these Pockies. They're little sticks. They're called cream-covered biscuit sticks. And we tried the strawberry last time. But because we have already <laughs> done this and we've tried these, I also have cookies and cream Pockies that we have not tried. So this will be an original try for you guys. We thought we would just... Nice. We weren't going to do these to save time. But now that we have to do this twice. Oh, boy. Because of this. Our, we will. Our handy dandy. Our new microphone. I swear to Jesus. <laughs> if this doesn't take this time, I'm throwing the whole package out the window. So, Ooh. cookies and cream. So, it says cookies and cream covered biscuit sticks. Biscuit sticks. I don't know what that means. 200 calories per serving, but one box is a full serving. A bit. For a biscuit stick? <laughs> okay, so the last one's like the covering was good. Like the strawberry stuff was just that fake strawberry cream, but the biscuit literally tasted like you were just chewing on a twig for a little yeah. bit. So we'll, whoa, those are all a little broken. Let's find ones that aren't broken. These are sticky. Oh, maybe they're all broken. Come on, Pockies. <laughs> the cream on this went crazy, and it's, I think it may have melted. In the uh, window, so we're just gonna do little pieces. These are really okay. big, actually. They're supposed to be. They're supposed to be about this long, but we can only get little baby pieces out to show you. So we're gonna okay, try some cookies cream. and cream. Cookies and cream. Uh huh. It tastes like the inside of a cookies and cream Oreo. Like the icing is just icing. It's just icing smeared on. You'd expect it to be like a chocolate covered pretzel. It's not. Um... The icing is perfect. <clears throat> it's literally what you would expect out of a cookie. It's just icing. It's literally the icing from everything else that's yeah. iced. He eats a lot more Oreos than I do, so I guess this is more of his thing. I think it tastes fine. Yeah. The biscuits are just so plain, though. Like, if you just take a just a bite of the biscuit, there's no taste. It You're just chewing. Like, it tastes like, have you ever tried something that's made with, like, fake sugar instead of real sugar, like Splenda? Um, like, the icing is made with Splenda? That's what it tastes like. It's not real sugar. You use Splenda. Yeah, not, not when I bake. Oh. These are gross. <laughs> <laughs> These are literally... I don't know if you can see it. They're like matted together. I don't know if they like... Ugh. They like melted. And I it, wouldn't recommend it, these. No. You know, and I said in the last video, I'm not really sure what you <laughs> use these for. They're like swivel sticks covered in a cream. For what, though? Do you just eat them like they're pretzels, but you just... Pretend that they taste better? I don't know what... I guess it's shut up. Looks like you want a bear pretzel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. And like, here, uh, here are what... Let me see if the me. strawberries come out a little bit. Me. They, This is the size of them, though. This is the size of the original strawberry. It just tastes lame. There's like... nothing really to them. It's just kind of like... In a weird way, I feel like this would be like a candy that you would find at like your grandparents' house that sits there for a long time. And they're like, yeah, you want it. a piece of candy? And they bring mm. you out this weird biscuit covered in like cream, and you're like, mm. but it's not like the biscuit's not even made with sugar. Like it's just like flour. It's biscuit. just dry. It's like ugh, yeah. it's really dry. They're really not the best. Mm. Um, I guess you could like stir your milk, pretend that it gives you a little flavor, put it in your like hot chocolate. For fanciness. But other than that, I don't know what you would use. I don't know what you would use these for. They have two different boxes, too. That's weird. No. Zero. They didn't think any of this out. Um, next. These are called chalkies? <laughs> Chokies? <laughs> Chokies. They are chocolate chip cookies? Chalkies, probably, then. Maybe. Natural and artificial flavor. I'm just reading. Oh. You really want some cookies, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? These are not even Asian. These are Hispanic chocolate chip cookies as I'm reading the ingredients yeah. on them. And they're going to be delicious. So, we went from our Asian-inspired back to stuff Hispanic. We've not tried treats. these at all. There aren't very many Asian things unless you want to spend $15 on some marshmallows, but... This just looks like Nabisco Chips Ahoy cookies. Okay. Hispanic cookies. Go. Oh, oh okay. 
Oh. Dale of Panic Cookie. <laughs> Tastes like a cookie. Tastes like musical cookies. They're a little bit like they're not soft at all. Is what I'm I'm trying to input. Like yeah. you bite them and they just crumble to pieces around you. Um, it tastes fine. No, yeah, I'm good. This is bad. Oh God, we gotta stop doing it in here. Mm. This is not fun. Okay. So the last thing. <clears throat> no, oh, we oh, had oh, we oh, had no. this other <laughs> one. We had this other one. Okay. It was really, really, really fun to show you guys. And I'm really, really sad. Let me try to take that piece off. And now it looks like this because we've already done this, like I said. It was round and it looked like a piece of bologna wrapped in plastic. And it was called a milk caramel candy wafer. And this is another Hispanic treat. And I would love to know any Hispanic person who eats these. Because I want to unfriend you on everything that I follow you on. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're horrible. So we opened it up. And we were all like, we really thought we were getting a good treat here, okay? And I held it like this and I said, this looks like a piece of bologna, does it not? A piece of bologna. It's supposed to be a caramel wafer. And then I tried to peel the paper off on the side like you would like an American snack. It's part of it. It doesn't come off. It's the part that you eat, and I will not. I refuse to eat this again. Okay, here, I'll eat some. Okay. I'll eat some. Here. It is the worst textured thing I have ever tasted in my mouth. Ever. It tastes like you were eating the cardboard insert to a brand new shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be there. I think you're supposed to be able to peel it off. Okay, I'm going to try to peel this off for you. This is me peeling off this white part, mm. and the rest of the caramel comes with it. Mm. There is no peeling it off. You eat this. Am I wrong? I hope you are. Henry, Maida, uh, Nayla, am I wrong? Do you eat the white mm. part? Have you eaten this? What is this? Why do you have this? <laughs> <laughs> why, why is there more than one of these ever made? Like, mm -hmm. if this was in the aisle. Like, people are buying these oh. still. And it literally tastes like you're eating a piece of caramel smashed in between two pieces of cardboard, like two ply toilet yeah. paper. <laughs> yeah, it really does. I will it's, not eat it, it again. It's horrible. I spit the last one out. That's what I had to peel off before I showed you this one. I don't know why. Why would you eat um, this? Why? Like it won't, it won't come off. It's literally like it looks like it should be like a sugar coating, but it's just cardboard. Yeah. It's the worst. It's literally the worst. I don't know why our Asian inspired food night turned into a Hispanic criticizing your snacks, but um, real guys. What is this crap? Is I gotta this? censor myself. What is this? Horrible. Someone tell me. What was the purpose? What do you do? You feed these I to your this. horses? Are these like <laughs> like this is not a human snack? No, no. My dog may eat this, but he eats a lot of random stuff. So this has been a Robin's <laughs> review. We review it. Or no, you choose it. We review it. Robin's review.